Hey, welcome back to my channel. In the last video, I talked about going into this 14-day mandatory quarantine in China. Many of you asked me questions like, do you have to pay for the hotel? How much does it cost? Can you sneak out? <laughs> do you get a choice for the meals and everything? And today I would like to take you inside of a quarantine facility in Tianjin near Beijing, where most people flying to Beijing are doing their quarantine time. And I would like to show you how this whole machinery works and I think it will help you understand how China works. And now close your eyes and imagine that you have just landed in China. No, don't close your eyes because otherwise you wouldn't be able to watch this video. So don't close your eyes and imagine you have just landed in China. Once you get off the aircraft, you will take two tests before leaving the airport, the PCR and the antibody test. Don't forget to collect your luggages and take them with you onto the bus. Several police cars will accompany you to your hotel. It it makes you feel like some kind of VIP, I know. There are only two choices, uh, two quarantine facilities in Tianjin. Depending on the day, the capacity, the timing, a random facility will be chosen for you. Once you get to the hotel, the first thing they ask you to do is not to pay. To my surprise, no. They ask you to add the hotel's WeChat. All the important notifications, payments and everything are done through this group chat. Yes, you will have to pay for the hotel, but it's not expensive. The room rate is only 200 yuan. The food is 80 yuan per day for three meals. That's really a good deal. You can pay by credit card, but it's recommended to pay by WeChat or Alipay. Inside the hotel room, you'll find amenities like towels, sleepers, shampoo, shower gel, toilet paper, bottled water, and appliances like TV, kettle, hair dryer, all the standard things that you'll find in pretty much any hotel around the world. You can also find a very important little thing that is a clinical thermometer. Twice a day, you need to submit your own body temperature to this WeChat group so the doctors can keep good tracks of your temperatures. And then you will open the door and grab breakfast, lunch, and dinner left on this plastic stool in front of your room. When you finish, just take out the trash to the same area and then grab the next meal. So it goes on and on and on for the next 14 days. The corridor is disinfected daily, I would say religiously, really. It's crazy how much they disinfect. I could even smell the disinfectant from inside of my hotel room. You're not allowed to order takeaway food at the moment for health and safety reasons, but you can receive packages which will be disinfected before giving them to you. Honestly, I don't really feel the need to order any takeaways because the food is really good. I have no complaints whatsoever. Every day there is a different set of menu, so you will never get tired of eating the same thing. To some foreign travelers though, I can imagine it's a little difficult to eat because some food can look or taste rather odd, like the pig's feet with nails on it, and um, smelly tofu, this is really smelly. It's typical Chinese delicatessen, but it's not for everyone. On the 7th day and 13th day, two tests will be conducted on us again. If the results come back negative, which is a positive thing, we will be allowed to leave, check out the hotel on the 14th day. This concludes the 14-day mandatory quarantine. Hopefully this video has answered some of your questions. If you are curious uh, about some kind of aspects and if you have more questions, you can leave me a message in the comment below. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching and uh, signing off. See you soon.